Going into this fall semester of 2024, you need to think about how your students are using AI. And if you haven't made your mind up about how students should be using tools like ChatGPT with their assignments, we analyze 144 course policies to help give you an idea what other educators and professors are doing around the United States and to help you make an informed decision on what's best for your courses. To create today's video, we used an incredible document created by Lance Eden, Syllabi Policies from Generative AI. Huge thanks to Lance Eden for making this document. It's a great way to learn about different AI policies. You can find a link to his LinkedIn in the description. Based on data from various institutions, we've outlined three main categories of AI policies. Restrictive, mixed, and open. Each category might be worth adding to your syllabus, but more on that later in the video. First up, restrictive policies. These policies either completely prohibit or heavily restrict the use of AI tools. They stem from concerns about academic integrity, learning outcomes, assessment accuracy, and equity. Here are some examples from syllabi policies for generative AI. No credit will be given if you are caught using an AI tool is a very strict line from Gabriel Cruz, Bermudian Springs writing course. You may not use artificial intelligence tools to complete your assignments in this course. This prohibition comes from Dr. Ann Davis, Texas Women's University, Life Sciences. This mindset is usually based on fear that AI tools may lead to cheating or plagiarism, that AI use may hinder students' skill development and critical thinking, and provide difficulty in evaluating students' actual knowledge. Second category is mixed policies. These policies allow limited or conditional use of the AI tools, often with specific guidelines. Here are some examples. You are welcome to use AI generators to brainstorm and refine ideas, find reliable sources, check grammar, refine wording, and format bibliographies. Beyond bibliographies, you are not allowed to copy and paste material generated by AI and use it in your assignments. From Sarah Bunin Banner, University of Southern California and Hebrew Union College, Cultural studies. Students can use AI for certain assignments, but must explain how it was used. Betsy Barr, Wake Forest University, first year seminar on sexual ethics. There is strong recognition among academics that AI tools are becoming ubiquitous in the mixed approach, and that students need to learn to use AI responsibly. There is an emphasis on honesty about AI use and strong belief that students should gain experience with AI tools that they may use use in their future careers. Finally, let's move on to open to AI policies. These policies actively encourage the use of AI, often integrating it into the curriculum. It's all about embracing innovation, skill development, real-world preparation, and critical thinking. Some examples. I expect you to use AI, e.g. ChatGPT, image generation tools in this class. In fact, some assignments will require it. Ryan Gannon, Clemson University, Advanced Quantitative Analysis. You are welcome to use generative AI tools in this class, and doing so aligns with the course objectives. Max Evian. Michigan State University, Intro to Arts and Cultural Management. The open approach is based on viewing AI as a powerful tool that can enhance learning and productivity. Strong belief that learning to use AI effectively is a crucial 21st century skill, and using AI interaction as a way to develop students' ability to evaluate and refine information. Overall, these trends reflect an ongoing debate in academia about how to adapt to rapidly evolving AI technologies. But all of them can be worthy of adding to your syllabus, so here's our breakdown. Restrictive policies can ensure students develop core skills, like writing, critical thinking, and problem solving on their own. There is a strong emphasis on students' original ideas and intellectual growth, but it doesn't properly address all the students that are going to use AI regardless. Mixed policy strikes a good balance, acknowledging potential benefits of using AI as a learning aid, if used responsibly while providing clarity on acceptable and unacceptable uses. And it positions AI as a supplemental tool to enhance, not replace critical thinking skills. Finally, an open policy encouraging AI use is a great choice because it embraces AI literacy as a vital skill 
for students' future careers. It enables students to leverage AI capabilities to improve efficiency and quality, fosters innovation in teaching and learning practices, and recognizes AI as an inevitable part of the changing educational landscape. At Boodle, we believe that AI will play an increasingly significant role in the future of education, and that the goal as a professor is to empower students to launch successful careers by leveraging the power of AI transparently and responsibly as a powerful tool that, when integrated thoughtfully into the curriculum, can foster innovation, efficiency, and student growth. By promoting transparency around AI usage and building software where professors can assess and grade their students' usage of AI, we aim to create an environment where students feel comfortable experimenting with and learning from AI technologies. Just imagine referencing something you've learned in college while using AI AI as a working adult, and it can remind you exactly what you learned about so many years ago. And now you can continue applying your learnings well into your career. And fun fact, AI was incredibly helpful in preparing for this video. I used Woodlebox to analyze the policies, asked it for citations, and it was on point every time. I wasn't even planning on using it, but when I got stuck, it was just there asking to be used. So thank you, Woodle. Nice assists. So that's it. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe, tell us about your policies in the comments. And if you want to learn more about the role of AI in higher education, click on this playlist right here. See you in the next one.